Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So better late than never, and Microsoft Edge has finally received our Chromium security fixes that have been rolling out throughout the course of this week. And Microsoft always seems to push these security fixes out um, last compared to the other browsers. And this is actually our third point release update for Microsoft Edge for desktop literally over the last three days. So lots going on with Microsoft Edge when it comes to minor updates to address issues rolling out this week. Now, because we are dealing with security issues, as always, we head to our main menu, help and feedback about Microsoft Edge. And this is to double check, obviously, that we have this latest update. And after the update has been downloaded and installed, browser version and build is now sitting on version 121.0.2277.112. And that's been bumped up from point 110. And we are dealing with three security issues that have been fixed. So three security fixes have rolled out. All the flaws are high risk. And they are common exploits, use after free and heap buffer overflow. And use after free basically is when the memory is freed up. That memory that is freed up after you close edge can be used by an attacker to gain access to your system remotely. And... The other one is uh, basically heap buffer overflow, and that's a common exploit as well. And basically, your memory has sections of heap, and basically the memory available needs a pool or heap of memory segments, and there might be different instances where um, the assigned memory blocks might overflow into adjacent memory blocks, and that's where the attackers can gain access to critical data in those segments and can take control of the so-called heap overflow, overflow vulnerability and allow it to be turned into arbitrary malicious code. So those are basically more or less what those two vulnerabilities are all about. And now that puts basically all the Chromium browsers on the same page when it comes to the security update that rolled out at first to Google Chrome, which it always does at first. Now, basically there's nothing really new going on besides security fixes, but I did notice that if we head to our favorites, uh, it's got a much darker hub compared to as an example your history and this puts it more in line now with the browser essentials which has a much kind of darker background compared to the lighter gray when it comes to the different sections and i did post on this when it was in canary so at this stage we don't know if microsoft wants the kind of dark gray or the much darker you are but nonetheless i'm um, just that's just one little change i did spot after this update rolled out. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.